Hey everyone, it's Eric here from i525XL. Today is Friday, April 12th. I took the day off today from work. Been a little crazy, meetings upon meetings, double booked with meetings and triple booked, so I just kind of got fed up, um, needed a day off. Um, lights are off right now because it's not uh, 11 o'clock yet, uh, so the tank is looking pretty dull. But I'm going to do some work on the tank today. As you can see, the Birds of Paradise has toppled over. It was purchased, perched up here. It's now lying on the Duncan and the plate. So I'm going to have to get in there and remount that somewhere. Haven't figured out where yet, uh, but I'm going to do that uh, today. So I'm just going to take a step back. Going to get some of that work done, and I'll join back with you in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. Uh, it's a couple hours later, actually. Lights are on. As you can see, I put in a new uh, piece of rock in there, mounted the uh, Birds of Paradise on it, just to give it some room from everything else. Um, don't know if it's gonna be there. I put a big blob of glue there, so hopefully it stays. But as you can see, you know, it's kind of on autopilot and kind of jinxed it in the last couple of videos. Everything was going good. Now I've got some uh, algae buildup on the sand. I have to figure out what this is. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, I do notice at night when the lights go down, it tends to um, not disappear, but you don't see it as much. So I might just do a lights out on this tank for a couple of days. Um, it's really quite widespread. It just happened in the last week. I know I didn't post a video last week, so um, you can even see it on the rock there. So I don't know if it's, I can't say it's from lack of flow. I think I got a ton of flow going through here um, so not sure what that is yet I'm gonna do some nutrient levels I'll probably post it here um, once I get them all done I'll probably do the readings a little later so I don't know when I'll post this video either today or Saturday but anyway that's what I'm kind of faced with right now kind of irritated with it everything I th every time something's going smoothly and I talk about it hey everything's going smooth and kind of Anyway, that's the hobby, right? So we <laughs> got to take the good with the bad. You can see I got some water on here still in the glass. I got to clean that up. I was uh, pretty much armpits deep in this thing today. So all the flow is off right now. As you can see, there is absolutely no flow from the Nero 7, Nero 5, or return pump. Um, and it's really because I've just glued that big coral bird's nest um, on the rock. So I want to give it time to set. So um, see the plate is really, really getting big now, which is pretty cool. Um, the, uh, God, oh, help me out, man. I'm losing it. That green coral <laughs> slimer, uh, is really growing well too. So, um, yeah, I'm not everything, but the algae growth is, uh, is looking pretty good. You can see the, um, torch is absolutely dead still because there is no flow. Um, not used to seeing it like that, but, uh, anyway. All is good in there, I think. I just got to manage that algae. Um, I'm sure it has something to do with my nutrient levels. I just did a five-gallon water change yesterday. So um, once I started noticing the algae and had a bit of time, uh, I just kicked in the uh, return. Sorry, I did one other thing, though. I uh, Before, I had three Duncans in here, three colonies. So I notice I only have two. I put the bird's nest there, uh, Birds of Paradise. Um, on the other side, in the seahorse tank, I've actually transferred it over here today. So that's where I'm going to keep it, along with its little sister there. Um, everything in here is going pretty good. The seahorses are good. The frostbite's doing well. Um, yeah, not expecting a lot out of this tank. The real purpose of it is to house those two ladies there and the frostbite. So if the corals get along, that's great. Um, but everything else is pretty cool. No significant uh, algae buildup of any kind other than on the glass, which is par for the course. Uh, I'm still do dosing 5 mils of Alpha Reef on here, um, so I'm just going to keep it at 5. I really don't need much more in there. Uh, I don't take a lot of measurement readings on this tank, to be quite honest. Um, other than the pH, I, would do, I do need to do a check on... Um, nitrates just to make sure they're in check but I'm also due for a water change here so I'm going to do that this weekend so that is the plan so other than that uh, not much else new other than a bit of a painful algae growth here if anybody recognizes what this is it's I, I don't know let me know your thoughts it's just creep crap crept up out of nowhere 
my flow is good as I say I got to check the nitrates and phosphates but uh, it's really just come out of nowhere within the last week of course I didn't post a video last week so now I got something to talk about I'd rather not <laughs> rather good news and bad news but uh, anyway take it on the chin so so that's it for today uh, all the livestock's good doing well I'm not adding anything at this point um, I just want to get this algae stuff under control and uh, these new corals here are actually doing really well though um, impressed with them so far uh, that cherry pop in the corner there is still really growing out which is great um, zoas are good snail sleeping um, other than that I got a little bit of cleanup to do on the glass here uh, I did scrape the glass the other day, but uh, I did a pretty quick job, so I need to go back in and just uh, clean it up a bit. So, Anyway, that's it for me for today. I feel like I'm stammering on here, so I'm going to cut it off. Um, questions or comments, leave them down below. Always love to hear from you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, always appreciate it. Hoping that you guys get something out of the tank in terms of experience and what I'm going through. Um, I don't do a lot of do's and don'ts, honestly, because I think that's been done to death. But... Um, if you have any questions or thoughts or anything on what I'm doing here or what you have going on in your tank, please post them down below. I'll help you out as much as I can. I'll respond as quickly as I can too. So, um, yeah, that's it. So until we chat again, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe and happy reefing.